All right, so this video is just going to be on dungeons. So you can find the dungeons by going to right above the campaign. So you have these two tabs here. Um, so you have the campaign at the bottom, and then dungeons at the very top. You you got to advance a couple levels before you unlock it. Um, but once you unlock the dungeons for the first week, I believe you get all of the different uh, soulstone citadels unlocked, and then they go on like a rotation um and then you always have these the goblin caves dragon lair and abysmal vortex um as well but so the dungeon is really helpful because it allows you to get a few materials so like these soul stones you can get um are, are critical because it allows you to actually ascend your heroes so like if we go or your cards in general so if we go to our cards you see each of them will need different soul stones um, just depending on their their rarity um, but yeah so dungeons are very helpful for for that um, you'll need different soul stones depending on the card you're trying to upgrade um, but then as well as dungeons have like we have okay so we have the Malay Citadel the ranged outpost depending what so if you're if you're running, if you're trying to ascend a Malay champion, you're going to need these uh, Malay soul stones. Same with the ranged, as well as you're going to need the generic uh, clear soul stones. And then for a hero, you're going to need the Malay or ranged. Um, oh, sorry, not Malay or ranged. I think you actually need the, you're going to need the clear ones. And then the hero soul stones. So it doesn't matter whether they're, they're melee or ranged for the heroes, but you need the hero soul stones and then your just clear soul stones. Um, but yeah, that's very helpful. You're you're gonna have to spend a lot of time in the dungeon, not only because it allows you to uh, get those ascension materials, but it's ac also actually a better return um, for your stamina to experience. Um, so in general, you're going to try and advance in the campaign, but most of your sp spare energy, you're actually going to be spending farming uh, different, the Citadel Outpost, um, a lot of these different dungeon stages. For, for those soul stones, as well as over here, we got the Dragon Lair, Vortex, and Goblin Cave. So each of these, um, you actually get, so for the Lair and Vortex, you get these chests that will just drop random pieces, um, random artifacts. And then we also have the Goblin Caves, which is cool because in the Goblin Caves you can get the rings, uh, like amulets and banners, which are other pieces, other artifacts that your heroes and characters um, can use if they're at the correct star level. Um, so you're going to also uh, spend a lot of time farming those. One thing to note is each of the different dungeon stages has slightly, like, just kind of different mechanics. So the dragon lair, the dragon's going to lay dragon eggs and do different things. Um, your Malay citadel and ranged out, outposts. So your Malay citadel, the one you're going to be using to farm soul stones to ascend your Malay, champion, your Malay cards, is actually detrimental to M Malay cards in general they get like a nerf there and so you're gonna you can beat it with Malay cards but it's a lot more difficult because they get like a damage reduction they deal twice as much damage um, vice versa with the ranged outpost you're wanna get, gonna want to use Malay cards to beat them and then your your hero castle and your uh, fort of souls they each have different variances too but that's that's part of the reason you're going to want to have a diverse card set um because you just can't have a one size fits all team you're going to want to have various teams to be able to beat different dungeon stages but let me know if you have any additional questions thanks for watching